Well, hey everybody, this is Joe Van Cleve. Welcome to another episode of the Typewriter video series. We haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, I guess the end of the year activities, I sort of slowed down, but I'm back at it, and I have an interesting idea I want to talk to you guys about, and that is about using typewriters for typing up small little notes. Stay tuned. I spent quite a bit of time last year making videos about using typewriters as tools for writing, for stream of consciousness, first draft writing, and among other techniques, using an, a long roll of paper, which I have several different uh, ways of doing that. Well, this one works with a couple of the brother typewriters. You can clip it on the back of the the frame of the typewriter behind the carriage of these little hooks. Uh, the other way I do it is I have a wooden folding tray table and the uh, there's a broom handle that goes underneath the uh, the table between the scissor legs and it holds the paper roll below it. Uh, so there's been a couple ways of doing this endless roll of paper typing and the whole idea with this is uh, enabling you to type endlessly uh, from your stream of consciousness just to be able to put a lot of words down and continue typing and writing and writing. But you know, that's not the only uh, usage mode for typewriters. And I'd like to talk a little bit today about using small pieces of paper, typing little intimate little diminutive notes. We're going to have to go back in time a few decades, more than a few decades. I was a, when I was a kid back in the 1960s and 70s, my parents had me write letters every week to my grandparents uh, who lived back in Ohio. And uh, I, I was not thrilled about writing letters. And every one of my letters started with, Dear Grandmother and Grandma, Grandpa, how are you doing? I am doing fine. The weather here is nice. How is the weather there? <laughs> that paragraph was the start of every letter, and then I could I would try to write something else on top of that. But I was it was hard for me even to fill a letter writing pad halfway with with text uh, because I just didn't know what to say. And uh, you know these were grandparents I'd only seen once or twice in my life. They lived a thousand miles away or whatever, and so. Uh, but it reminds me that. And when you think about using typewriters for personal correspondence, you don't necessarily have to fill a whole big page with text. And in fact, I find myself even today when I'm um, having to write a letter to somebody, for instance, using a letter writing paper such as this. This is a 6 by 9 inch, but there's also 5 by 8 inch letter writing paper. Oh, that's a cartoon. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. Anyways, uh, so even half of a page like this, sometimes if I'm writing a brief note to somebody, I have a hard time filling up the entire page. And sometimes I, I have this sense that I'm obligated to fill up the entire page, you know, for, so you don't waste paper or whatever. And also, it, there's kind of this psychology where it looks like if you give them one of these six by nine pages, but it's only half full. It looks like you didn't have very much to say. So this comes to the idea of why don't we cut these these pieces of paper in half and make smaller little note card sheets. Well, if you're at all familiar in any way with the world of stationery, which if you're a typewriter aficionado, that's probably a side interest for a lot of you. But I have an example here. I have a little box of little note cards and these come with little envelopes and they're little cards these happen to be typewriter themed uh, blank cards that you can jot down a nice little note and of course uh, this is stiff paper it's probably best used with a fountain pen but uh, it's tempting just to want to think you could roll one of these little note cards into a typewriter and uh, start typing away your note but the reality is a lot of typewriters just don't work very well with stiff cardstock, especially typewriters, the portable ones that might have smaller diameter platens. I know my Hermes Rocket probably has the skinniest platen of all the typewriters in my collection, and you just can't get a cardstock through it like this, and neither can you with a lot of the other small ultra portables that I have in my collection. So. Uh, yeah, you can just go out to the store and buy note cards and use it for smaller size notes, but they're not going to work as good for typewriters. So um, the alternative, I think, which is an interesting idea, is let's just cut down some paper and let's make our own little note cards. 
And one way to do this is to take some really nice paper that works well with a typewriter like this Clairefontaine Triumph paper and uh, just divide it into quarters. And it'll give you these little note card sized quarter panels that you probably would preferably put it in the machine in the landscape format so the lines are a little bit longer, a little bit you don't have s such short little lines, but that's one idea that you can do, and this paper uh, is is great. It's like any uh, high quality typing paper. It'll roll through the typewriters just fine. Makes a great impression. Uh, and so you could even cut the paper down in half this way and then just fold it. So you have a half fold kind of a note card style similar to what we have with these little cardstock cards. And uh, yeah, if you get fancy with it, you could even uh, get yourself a typewriter stamp or some kind of a little artwork thing you can put on the top of it here and make make a custom little uh, little uh, typewriter note card. Uh, now, there is another thing you could do though, and that is you could take some nice little cardstock note cards like this that are stiff, the kind that you wouldn't want to actually put in your typewriter because it won't roll through properly, but you could just insert a regular smaller size rectangle of regular typing paper like the Clairefontaine or some high quality paper and type on the smaller insert paper and then insert it into the cardstock and that presents a nice little presentation. You have the uh, envelope that the note comes mailed in through the postal service they open it up, there's a nice cardstock card with a little uh, decoration, some kind of graphic arts, and then they open it up and you'll have an insert letter on thin paper and you might even want to sign the uh, card itself, uh, thinking of you, love Joe, or whatever. But there's a, that's an idea for doing smaller notes on a typewriter and still using these heavy pre-manufactured note cards. Let's talk about this whole idea of writing short notes to people with a typewriter. The real concept, and I, I brainstormed this back on December 31st, and I, I used my little roll of adding machine paper to write these little notes on usually, but this is about in praise of the short typed note or letter. The idea is it's better to write a, a short note to someone than nothing at all. In other words, if you're wanting to wait until you have a full letter's worth of information to send to them, uh, you may not get around to doing it or it may not uh, get sent, the letters may not get sent to them very frequently. But short little notes, it doesn't have to be a complete letter. Just thinking of you, here's what's happening, let's get together and do lunch. Uh, I think it's a really nice idea. It, it puts the typewriter into a greater usage mode. You know, you sit down and you think, I'm going to bash out some letters to people, and I'm going to have to sit there and think about all the people I want to type letters to and all the stuff I want to talk about, and this guy, I'm, I'm going to talk about a certain thing, but this other person, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about something different because our relationships are different or whatever. There's a lot of work involved in typing full letters. Notes, little type notes. You know, they don't even have to be... A full paragraph. Type a poem to somebody. Type a haiku. I'm thinking of you. Put a little haiku in there. Just do little things like that. Make it more frequently. You know, postage uh, for the, the postal service is cost you some money. Yeah. And I know the temptation is to want to uh, get your money's worth. If I'm going to put a little stamp on an envelope, dang it, I want to be able to get as much paper in that envelope. Well, yeah, but you might never get around to writing because, you know, if you want to fill up your whole one ounce worth of weight. But if you just uh, get a uh, get a little note, a couple paragraphs, type it up, send it to them. Do it more often, more frequently. Once every couple weeks, even once a month, or more frequently than that. This is the, the magic of little notes. They seem more special and intimate than a full-blown letter because it, there's, there's, they're more spontaneous. If the cost of postage really is a concern to you, 
that you're writing more frequently smaller notes and therefore you're using up more postage. One of the alternatives you might want to consider is do postcards, typed postcards. Now obviously a commercially made postcard is too stiff to roll through a typewriter. So what are you going to do there? Well, one of the things you could do is go to the uh, big box stationery store and buy some of these. Uh, this is Avery brand and they are basically adhesive labels. They come in different sizes, but if you can find uh, the kind that uses uh, four labels, this is eight and a half by 11 inch, one big label sheet, and you can literally, literally cut them with a paper trimmer in quarter sizes. And then you can roll the uh, labels through your typewriter, type on it, and then uh, peel it off and stick it to the back side of your postcard. And then stick a stamp on it. And the, so you're gonna be using postcard rate postage. So it is not as, uh, as expensive as regular first-class mail here in the United States for sure. Um, of course, there's the one drawback, right, one detriment to this is obviously whatever you're writing isn't going to be private. Uh, that's true with most postcards. So you're going to have to revert to, you know, code words if you're a secret agent or something. But anyways, for the rest of us that aren't secret agents, that's an alternative that can save some money. Now, if you think about do I, does that mean I have to go out and buy postcards? Well, no. Uh, all of us typically get junk mail in the in the mail every week, and so you'll find a lot of times there's advertisement flyers that are approximately postcard sized, <laughs> and uh, are stiff like a postcard, and and so you could just put your typed letter your adhesive Avery label type letter, stick it on the back and obscure the original bulk rate mailing uh, uh, stamp uh, and then stick your own postage on it. And so you can reappropriate uh, junk mail uh, and, and send it to your friends as, uh, as a way of doing postcard rate letters to people. And so that's, that's one idea you might want to consider. Okay, let's talk about the practicalities of typing on smaller pieces of paper, like quarter size sheets of paper. Uh, the main thing is you're going to want to make your margin much closer to the left edge of the paper. I, I usually do about maybe three spaces in from the left. And make sure it's well aligned. Uh, a, a piece of paper this size, which is roughly four by six probably, the lines are probably long enough, but you know, if you have a pica machine, you'll find yourself having to either hyphenate a lot of words at the end or truncating the lines prematurely to not break up a word. And so it becomes kind of inefficient usage-wise. You might consider typing it in landscape mode and that way you have a longer line and you can fit more text on it. The other uh, thing is, Consider using an elite uh, 12 character per inch uh, machine if you have more than if you have one of those available with many of us Collectors have more than one machine in our collection But it seems a little more practical when you're typing a on smaller sheets of paper to use um, a, use a smaller size typeface Now one of the things I find myself doing often when I'm typing on smaller pieces of paper is I'm not used to the line length and I end up over typing in off the edge of the paper if I don't have my margin set properly so you definitely want to set your margin so the machine is going to stop right at near the right edge of the of the uh, paper so that you won't uh, accidentally uh, run a word off halfway into the onto the rubber of the platen and so it's just something to get used to the other thing is your paper bale if your paper bale on your typewriter has rubber rollers you want to get your rubber rollers set so they're uh, they're even on both sides of the paper, either that way or that way, right? And uh, of course, get your margin and your paper guide all set so it's a, it's closer to the edge than what you'd normally use for a full-size, uh, letter-size piece of paper. If you do find yourself getting into the habit of writing letters periodically to people, you might have a problem keeping track of who you've written to, how frequently it was, when was the last time you wrote, to that person and you might have a number of correspondence and it's hard to keep track of that. So one of the things I started doing is, you've probably seen this in previous videos, but I make these little homemade notebooks from a single sheet of paper and a quarter page size piece of cardstock. And this is laminated in two inch packing tape, but I have my little chop, my little stamp on there. But anyways, letters written. So this is just a little list of the letters. I've only written one letter since 
uh, the end of the year. But uh, I'm, I'm past due to start writing. But this is a way to keep track of your letter writing. I have a box where I keep all my envelopes, stamps, address labels, and everything else. I clip this to the side of the box. So it's right there handy. And when I write a letter to somebody and get, it, get the stamp put on it, I'll just write it in here. I wrote to this person on this date. And if I need to, I can include a little bit more detail about what I wrote about. So I have a, a little bit of a record in terms of the, uh, the dialogue that goes back and forth if we exchange letters back and forth. Think about starting to do short little notes, short notes, short pieces to people. Write them more often. You don't have to wait until you have an entire thesis ready to type out to somebody. You could just do a couple lines or paragraphs and do it more often. Make typewriting a part of your correspondence lifestyle to uh, your loved ones and friends and relatives and whatnot. And so I hope that this will encourage you guys to get the typewriter out on your desk and use it more often. And until next time, this is Joe Van Cleve, and have yourselves a great day.